Hi, my name is Tushar Shanbagh. I'm a senior program manager working at Microsoft. I work in the Windows Azure product team. Um, uh, I work out of Redmond. One of the things that I'm super excited about, and, and it's actually something that I worked on, is the in-place upgrade functionality. So you no longer have to uh, go to a staging mechanism and then you know, swap into production. You have your service running in production. You can take one role at a time and upgrade it without touching any of the other roles. Or you can upgrade your entire service while in production to a new version of your service and roll it on top of your existing version. So that saves you a tremendous amount of time when you're upgrading your service and also gives you a finer grain control over when and how you can upgrade your service. Some of the scenarios in which, <clears throat> in which this is most valuable is if you have a very complex service with a lot of roles and you want to just upgrade one role of your entire service. For example, a front-end role. You, you want to add a button to your web page and you just want to you know, make a change or upgrade that role to a new version. All you have to do is using this new in-place upgrade feature, just upgrade that role. And only that role is upgraded, leaving everything, the rest of your service, intact. And all this happens with zero downtime. The other side, the other, other scenario that's very useful is if, um, if you have, say, for example, um, lots of roles in your service. And it's, it's a fairly complicated service, in, um, service architecture. So in, without in-place upgrade, what you have to do is you have to deploy and set up this, this entire service in the staging environment and get it up and running, make sure everything is exactly what you have in production, and then swap it over. So what you can save by using in-place upgrade is save that effort, extra effort of setting up a duplicate deployment in the staging area. And effectively what happens is, bit by bit, the newer version of your service rolls over the older version of your service, all with zero downtime. So it saves you a huge amount of time and effort, giving you the same uh, end result. So one of the key differentiators for Windows Azure, I feel, is the ability for you to take your existing skills, knowledge, and expertise in languages, tools, and technologies, and bring them over to a new environment, and yet benefit from the, uh, the benefits, the inherent benefits of the cloud, if you will, the dynamic scaling, the scale, the manageability, and so on and so forth. And at the same time, you do not have to worry about managing any of your hardware. You do not have to worry about what the, how many you know, VMs and how to set them up and provision them and so on and so forth. All you have to do is worry about writing your code and then go to a, a, a very user-friendly in interface, go deploy your service and watch the magic happen. And that doesn't happen you know, in, in other platforms, in, in cloud-based platforms out there. The three things that come to my mind when I think about Windows Azure are the Windows development platform, available in the cloud, and it's a platform for developers. 